Hello Capricorn, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time. What are their intentions or next actions towards you? Uh, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, um, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance for you, because sometimes those can uh, those messages can resonate more. All right, for Capricorn, let's jump right in. For Capricorn, messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn regarding their person's thoughts, energies, feelings towards Capricorn at this time. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer um, or someone that has like a Cancer big three. All right, not for everyone, obviously. I just keep seeing Cancer. When I shuffle here. All right. What are this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Capricorn? What are they thinking, feeling towards Capricorn? Six of Wands, Two of Swords. Man, everybody is getting these types of messages. Ten of Pentacles. Um, who was it that had something? A block of some sort. Uh, yeah. The chariot, bottom of the deck. There, some of you are dealing with a cancer. I feel like someone could also be thinking about making some sort of move towards you, um, Capricorn. But for some reason, there's a block, two of swords. As soon as I saw it, I was like, damn. What could this be about? We will clarify, but let's get some energies out here. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Capricorn, towards this connection. What do I need to know? About this person's energies towards Capricorn. What are this person's energies towards Capricorn? Or this connection with Capricorn? What are their energies? Mirrored souls? Okay, so they feel like um, you're their soulmate. Um, this is a mirroring each other. This is mutual feelings. You feel the same about each other. What else? I think they're hoping you feel this way towards them because when they think about you, they think about victory, success. There's love letter, a special message is on its way. I think this is someone that has caught your eye or, or has seen you or has met you recently, something like that, and they want to communicate, but maybe they're unsure of how to do it. What else do we need to know? Maybe they're just not sure if their feelings are going to be reciprocated. Because I see that with the Six of Wands, I'm getting that they've noticed you. And maybe they're thinking of a future with you. Ten of Pentacles, we'll see. I'm going to clarify all of those in a second. What are this person's energies towards Capricorn Spirit? What are this person's energies? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. That's that Two of Swords energy. We get one more. What do we need to know? I see you in my dreams. Yeah, they're visualizing things, thinking about, I feel this Ten of Pentacles, but I could be wrong about that. So let's clarify these energies here. Why is the Six of Wands here? Six of Wands. Four of Swords. Yeah, this is what they're thinking about. They're reflecting, dreaming about this Six of Wands with you. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Oh, I got two, three, three of swords, six of swords, emperor, Aries energy. Okay. Seven of pentacles. Yeah. They're visualizing success. They want success with you, but I think there's something in the way here. Maybe someone already left this connection. Maybe you walked away from this person or they walked away from you. I feel like there could be heartbreak here. Oops, 
Sorry, I hit the tripod. <laughs> I feel like there could be heartbreak here or a reason for someone to feel like this Three of Swords. Um, and I think that they're thinking about all of this and how maybe it'll be harder than they think or the future is not so secure with the Seven of Pentacles. There's anxiety over the future and uncertainty. That's what this Two of Swords is doing here. Now, it's interesting because the Emperor, they're more, um, they're doers. So I get the sense that this person, when they think about success, they think about something they have to do. So for me to have the Six of Wands with Capricorn, I have to do something. Maybe they need to leave a situation. Maybe they need to come forward uh, with the Six of Swords. We did have the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about this Two of Wands. Not the Two of Wands. What am I saying? The Two of Swords. Why is it? Okay, hold on. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Swords here? I believe this is you, Capricorn. Why is the Two of Swords here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah. I think that someone might have been shut out, freezed out, or there's someone that's closed off with the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Can I get one more for this Two of Swords? Page of Swords. Yeah, and I, I feel like someone wants to talk. There's a Two of Wands. Someone wants to talk. Someone wa is observing. I feel like a lot of you, you're being watched, and I don't mean that in a creepy way. <laughs> How creepy does that sound? Um, but I feel like there's someone that has their eye on you and is observing your movements, um, seeing you maybe be successful. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles does very well for their, themselves. Business people, um, financially secure, stable, etc., etc. Um, and so this Five of Pentacles is not Queen of Pentacles energy. So I feel like someone wants to get to that Queen of Pentacles, but they're outside looking in. You know, I feel like this person... They're afraid to tell you how they feel because there's a barrier. Um, and some of you, this is a barrier that maybe you put there. Um, others of you, there could be something else that kind of keeps this person fear. For example, fear is a great barrier. But I feel like they want to say something, Page of Swords, or they want to um, do something with the information that they're getting. So if they are observing you, it's to maybe make a comment later on or um, while they're observing you, they get this urge to talk to you. Something like that. Some of you, this person is in is, is at your gym. They they see you at the gym. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Uh, whoever that is at the gym, they've been wanting to talk to you for a while. So if you just started going to the gym, that's not for you. You've been there a while. Okay, anyways, Eight of Pentacles. Yep, Seven of Pentacles. So again, I feel like this person has doubts and anxieties over the outcome, the result of something. And I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like, what do I need to do? Emperor energy. What do I need to actively do? Do I need to work on myself? Do I need to work on my confidence? Um, tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. This could be somebody working up the courage to talk to you. I get a sense that for some of you, this is someone new. It's like you haven't really had a romantic connection with them. Maybe your friends or something. Wow, that's a lot. Four of Wands, the Moon. Yeah, there's uncertainty here. Pisces energy. This person has no idea how this is going to go down. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. When I come forward with this Ace of Pentacles, I'm serious about Capricorn, Ten of Pentacles. I really am thinking about the end game, the long haul here. I'm willing to work for that. Um, but do they feel the same way? The moon. What what is what is the reaction going to be? Is this going to actually be something? Is the is the success that I visualize actually going to happen for me? So let's find out about their intentions, next actions. What are their intentions towards Capricorn? Next possible actions, Spirit. 
are their intentions or next possible actions when it comes to Capricorn? What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions? Next possible action. Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords. Well, I could tell you this person is scared out of their mind. Look at... Look at the five of wands, five of cups, nine of swords. This is not going to go down my some of for some of you, this person, they think that they're you have a lot of uh, suitors. Um, you get a lot of attention. Maybe you're very attractive. They would have to like, you know, fight through the crowd to get to you. Others of you, you have had conflict with this person in the past. Um, maybe things didn't work out. And so they're afraid when they bring, to, bring when they bring you this ace of pentacles page of pentacles which again pentacles notice that it's pentacles i don't see here i see so many pentacles here let me just take them out because i'm like curious um i see a lot of pentacles here ten of pentacles the biggest one five of pentacles is here this is materials this is um this is a committed um energy this is someone serious practical uh this the pentacles energy is a, an energy where it's a promise you can count on it's effort this queen of pentacles they're sitting pretty because of all of their hard work because of their de dedication persistence so this person's thinking about pentacles it's not just feelings this is someone that's thinking about actually having a, a stable connection with you and there's a lot of doubts about how that would happen. You know, there's doubts about if you would take them seriously. Nine of Swords, there's the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Oh, yeah, they're thinking about this a lot. Um, and I think their emotions, um, the Queen of Cups is kind of, I'm seeing someone that's like being, they're very perceptive uh, emotionally. So I feel like this person is picking up on your cues a lot like maybe they see that you're not interested or you or they they see that you're a certain type of person for example maybe you're someone that carries your you carry yourself very well you seem to be no bs um, very successful and it, you're not just going to take whatever someone gives you and maybe they can sense that but i don't know this five of cups this five of wands i feel like this person's trying to fight their fear to bring you this page of pentacles they're afraid to tell you how they feel there's a reason for that i don't know if this is okay the person at the gym i'm just going to go back to that for it. if this is someone that you've noticed looking at you capricorn feel free to take the first shot smile at them or something because i feel like that's all they need they just need like an inkling like a little inch and they're just going to take and take that and run with it um, if you're not the gym person, then, you know, ignore what I just said. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like this is someone that, that they're afraid to tell you how they feel, but this whole time they're thinking about what to tell you. That's, that's the energy that this is here. So, um, I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully you enjoyed this bonus reading on how your person's currently thinking or feeling about you in terms of like their intentions or next actions. They really do want to bring you this page of pentacles. This is like someone asking you out on a date or making you a very serious offer. Um, even if it's casual, you know, it's, it's almost like this person is not going to just take you out for coffee. This is someone that would like book a, re a reservation. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So, um, yeah. Well, hopefully they do decide to message you and overcome their fear and um, I feel like they're having a bit of an insecurity issue so anyways if you enjoyed this reading like the video subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in another video very soon take care